Hi everyone, welcome to yet another episode of Unraveled Style. Now I know how all of you love lipsticks and a lot of times you ask me on Instagram what lipstick I'm wearing. So I thought this month maybe I will share with you 5 new lipsticks that either I bought or received and swatch it for you. Perhaps that shade suits you and maybe you could wear it as well. So let's make it quick and let me share these shades with you. Now three of the lipsticks I received from Influencer, which I am part of and they sent me uh, lipsticks from Makeup Forever to test it and write my reviews about it. Now this shade that I'm wearing right now is the first shade that I'm going to share with you. It's one of the shades that Makeup Forever sent me for testing. And it is part of the Artist Rouge collection. The shade is C404. And it's a bright, peppy, uh, very, very strong red. And uh, this lipstick is, I think it's perfect for a date night or a night out. Any night you just want to go wild. It's, it's bright, it's happy, it's fun. I did add a bit of lip gloss on top of it just for the video so it, it looks nice. Um, so this is the first shape and this is how it looks. Now the next shade that Influencer sent me from its Artist Rouge collection is the shade C502. Look at this shade. Like when I saw it for the first time, I thought it's white, but it's actually purple, uh, grayish purple and well, it's not my shade. It's not a shade I would wear every day, but if I'm going for a blogger event and I want to stand out, perhaps it's a shade I would consider. But for those of you who love wearing different shades, are very experimentative, trust me, this is one for you. The next shade is, uh, the third shade in fact that they sent me is a very, it's, it's a slightly cooler color. I think it looks great for cool skin tone. It's a dusty rose pink and it's perfect for day to day wear. You can wear it to work, somewhere where you don't want to attract too much attention. The shade is in C211 and this is how it looks. So these were the shades that Makeup Forever sent me via Influencer. Now, um, the purple one, like I said, it's it's not uh, my kind, but the red and the pink is something I would definitely buy again. And I'm not saying this because they sent me the product, but you can see, see it, how it looks on my face. And the best part about this lipstick is that people like me, I have very dry lips and it tends to get chapped because I wear lipstick a lot. So I need formulas that are very creamy, very moisturizing. And when you buy matte lipstick, it's very hard to find creamy matte. There are very few brands that um, give me that kind of moisture on my lips. And I do think Artist Rouge is one of them. If you have a similar situation like me, it's a brand you should also consider. Now the next lipstick is something I bought in an impulse, but it turned out to be a great buy. Now, matte lipstick has been in trend for a long time, but I personally feel gloss is coming back and the gloss trend is going to be there now. A lot of brands are creating lipsticks with gloss. So I ended up buying this neutral gloss by Jordana. Now I didn't know about this brand. I just walked into Walgreens and I saw, I was looking for a clear gloss lipstick that can go on any shade. So this was one of the brands where I found a neutral gloss and the review seemed okay online. So I bought it and honestly it was a very good buy because it the formula is good. It lasts long on my lips and it goes with any shade uh, that, I, that I wear. So I do think gloss is coming back in trend. So do add it to your stock. So this is a Jordana Lip Out Loud Super Shiny Gloss. And I did use this very gloss on my Artist Rouge red lipstick just to make it shine a little bit. So you can see it's slightly glossy, it's not that matte.
Now the next lipstick that I bought is completely new and I haven't even opened it so I'm opening it right in front of you to try it. I don't know how it's going to turn out to be but I know that this brand works well on my lips and I had bought a red lipstick in this uh, sh in this brand and it really worked well so I decided to give another shade a shot. This is by NYX. It's a matte NYX lipstick. Not very moisturizing, but it doesn't dry out my lips too much either. So let me wear it and show it to you. So this lipstick, oh, it's such a gorgeous shade. It reminds me of a berry, you know, a plum, luscious berry. Um, because it's a mix between burgundy and mauve. And so if you can see, it has a purplish tinge to it. Now, I love this color. Uh, it's not in my skin tone because I'm a warm skin tone. So colors like hot pink, red, coral, things which are more, which is more yellow in it suits my skin tone better. And berries tend to have more blue, so it's better for cool skin tone. But I still love wearing these shade of lipstick and I try and find a shade that is suitable to both warm and cool. Now this one in particular is called uh, Aria and it's a matte lipstick by NYX. This is how it looks. Um, the last one, actually no, the second last one that I'm going to show you is this red. Now I was telling you about another formula that suits me a lot and this is by Sephora and it's the Cream Lip Stain Collection and this one in particular is in the shade 01 which is red. It's a bright red, very similar to Artist Rouge Red, the Makeup Forever lipstick that I showed you. Very similar except that this is a lip stain, it's liquid and it does tend to last much longer. Every time I wear this lipstick, it lasts me easily 7 to 8 hours and it's very easy to apply. In my experience, it doesn't get messy with me. But of course, I understand lip stains can get messy, so it's always better to line your lip first before you wear it. I don't have the patience for it, so I tend to just apply a liquid lipstick just like that and this one has worked really well for me. last one and the most uh, gothic, daring one that I've ever bought is Anastasia Beverly's Helda. Now this is a very old shade and very popular with bloggers. I used to wear it earlier in a lot of my photo shoots I've worn it but I just purchased another one because that's how much I love it. So the only Disadvantage I feel with Anastasia Beverly's lipsticks are that they tend to really dry you out. Like my lips get really dry when I wear this one. So it's not my go-to lipstick but it's it looks really good in photos. So when I do tend to take my blogger photos, I do wear this lipstick a lot and after that I make sure I moisturize my lips uh, in a better way. It's a very dark brown shade and great for autumn, fall and you know uh, when you're deciding to experiment, something you can try out. Here is how it looks. So these are the seven lipsticks of the month that I bought. Um, I hope you like some of them and if you do try it out, let me know. You can put in your comments below, any questions of course, I will answer them. My social media links are also mentioned below, so you can follow me if you want to, of course, no pressure. And what else? Um, yes, of course, like I say always, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment and share. I'll see you again till next time.